Okay, hi, here it goes. Um, I'm gonna try and do my first tutorial video. Gonna um, keep it pretty simple to start off with. Uh, it's a learning process for me too. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get started. Um, I like to start with eyebrows. I think that it sort of sets the mood for the face. Um, personally, I don't know about you guys. Um, I am going to use my Anastasia Dip Brow and my Anastasia Number no. 12 brush. I'm using the Ash Brown because, um, as you can tell by my delightfully barely visible eyebrows, uh, my natural hair color is really, really ashy. So I try to keep my brows as close to that as possible and also with how silvery and, uh, I don't know, neutral my hair is. I uh, don't like anything to be too warm on my face because if I have like red or orange eyebrows, it's uh, not going to look great. So um, with the dip brow, it's uh, really important to remember that you don't need a lot, um, a little bit really goes a long way with this and anyone else who uses it I'm sure will know. So what I'm doing is tracing um, a line along the bottom of the brow to sort of shape out where I want the brow to end and then I like to go over on the top from the arch and then blend that into the tail to sort of get everything sorted. And then um, what I like to do is take whatever is left on my brush and kind of brush it up, uh, blend it up towards the front with the fan hairs so that it's a little more of an ombre look so you can see Oh, one half of my face is ready to go and the other half is like still in bed didn't come to the party I like to kind of go through with the spoolie after just get everything nice and blended I'm going to go over with a little bit of my uh, granite brow powder duo um, just because again I like everything super ashy. I'm mixing a little bit of the two colors just to kind of blend into the uh, end of the brow and the tail. Um, okay, so now what I usually do is um, I use a little bit of my foundation. This is uh, whoops, <laughs> NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Um, I like to just use a tiny bit instead of concealer because I find it a little bit more uh, sheer and I just kind of clean up around the brow. Something that I like to do um, is when I'm going in with the concealer or foundation after the fact, I like to kind of blend it up into the front of the brow, into the fan hairs, so that you truly get more of that like ombre gradient uh, Instagram brow. I always, 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 unless I am running errands or uh, I'm not doing anything <laughs> important, I always start with um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. Um, this stuff is awesome. It helps to um, waterproof your shadow, uh, prevent it from creasing, and also it just makes the payoff for your shadow that much better. Um, so instead of having uh, like a sparkly shadow that's going to just fall all over your face, it is going to stick to your eyelid as though this were glue, um, which for me is super important because uh, as you guys know, I use a lot of like really bright, fun colors, lots of sparkles and glitter, so this is great for that. Um, you really don't need a lot, and you just want to apply it to both eyelids. Now, I'm thinking I'm going to keep it kind of simple today, so um, I'm going to stick with my 
Ta-da! Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. Um, going to start with my shadow brush. Going to use um, this lovely neutral bone color. Uh, I'm gonna put this, as you're gonna see, everywhere. And when you're setting the primer, um, you kind of want to press the shadow in a bit more than white, uh, just for now, because otherwise you might get little gaps popping up or strange creasing or creping on the eyelid. Now I'm taking my lovely fluffy blending brush. I love this thing, it's like a magic wand as far as I'm concerned. And uh, I'm going to use a little bit of this peachy tone and get this in the crease on both eyes and blend, blend, blend. You want to think of it as like a windshield wiper almost. Like if you get your brush in to the right section of the crease of your lid, all you have to do is move it back and forth and the brush will do all of the rest of the work for you. Now I'm going to add a little bit of this light brown on the outer corner and in the crease. Now I'm going to take my small blending brush. I call it a crease blender. I don't know. I don't know what a proper name for it. It's like a chisel tip kind of. Um, I'm going to use this dark brown. Tap it off. Using this to exaggerate and deepen crease. Now, just for fun, to punch it up a little bit, I'm going to use a little bit of the black, 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 black. And I only say it that many times because that's how black and pigmented it is. <laughs> and I'm going to do this almost like a triangle, just in the corner. Really keep it in a smaller area. I'm going to go over it with my big blender just to keep everything nice and soft and mixed together. Now, purely because I haven't been feeling the matte thing lately, I'm going to use my beautiful self-made palette and I'm going to um, use some of the Treasure Shadow which is this um, lovely pearly color and I'm going to take a very small amount because these are so incredibly pigmented and just on the inner corner of the lid to the center Bring it out, add a little bit of shimmer and glam. Got some fallout here. That's why I always do my eye makeup first, because um, I tend to make a bit of a mess. So this is the liquid liner I'm going to be using. Um, it's a L'Oreal one. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's a lovely fine brush tip, which I really like because felt is weird. So for me, the easiest thing is to start off lining on the lash line and making it as thick or as thin as you want to start with. And then working on the tail. So 
there's liner done. And just because I like it, I'm going to use a little more of the medium brown and smudge along the lash line on the bottom. Lovely. Mascara. This is the Yves Saint Laurent uh, FF of Seal Mascara, the classic one. The thing you always, always want to remember with mascara is you don't just want to comb up. All that's going to do is clump everything up right at the root of the lash. So for optimum volume and fullness, you want to tuck the brush against the root and wiggle it and then pull up to allow for maximum separation and definition so that you don't look like you have four eyelashes. Unless that's what you want, in which case, all the power to you. Error. I poked myself with my mascara wand. This is why I always do my makeup, my eye makeup first. So that I can just wipe these things away or cover them with concealer and I don't have to fix or redo anything. Ta-da! Beauty Blender, NARS Sheer Glow, back of my hand. Uh, I'm just going to get right in there. I always blend my foundation down onto my chin and sometimes even onto my neck because nobody wants to be the girl with the chin strap. There's foundation. Now concealer. Again, NARS. Uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is the lightest shade they make pale. Um, this is Chantilly. So what I do with this is give myself almost like a triangle under here and then a bit out onto the cheekbone and down beauty blender. Then a little bit down the center of the nose and into the T-zone for highlight. So, looking less tired now, thank goodness. Just setting everything so it stays where I want it. Time to contour. And the trick for this is to apply almost the same principle as when you're doing uh, blush and you suck your cheeks in to expose the cheek muscle. The same principle applies here. Um, it's just that you're going to tuck the underside of your brush under the cheekbone and that's where you're going to start your contour. So the thing to remember is to start off small and then get bigger. So. You can see that I start in a small area and then my brush stroke gets wider and always again blending out and up with this. Ta-da! And then a little bit under the jawbone. So you can see just a little bit under cheeks. Uh, I don't usually bring it out too far. Go over with a little bit of highlight. I like to uh, blend these two because I'm not really pink, I'm not really yellow, I'm kind of in between. Uh, so I just like to make this a little more pronounced between the two contour lines. Also helps to clean it up a little bit. Under the eyes, and up onto the cheekbone, 
down a little bit along the side of the nose. The great thing about using this under your eyes as well is that it will help to do any leftover color correcting over your concealer. A little bit up on the T-zone again. Okay, so now I'm going to do blush. I like to use, this is a Petal Power Mineralize Blush from MAC. I think it was limited edition. I'm pretty sure they didn't keep it around. I don't know. Um, but starting on the apples of the cheeks, blending in along that contour line, keeping it nice and soft. And as you can see, I have very large cheeks. Yay! This is my favorite part. Highlight! Um, I would probably put this all over my face if I could. And uh, sometimes I, I pretty much do, uh, depending on how crazy I feel like going. So I'm using my Bedellium Tools fan brush. Um, I'm going to just dust this gently onto the top of the cheekbone and blend it down a little bit look at that yeah shows up way better in motion see lovely it's okay lovely oh, it's alright let's get both sides shining. Now I am going to apply this as well on the brow bone a little bit, blend it down on the nose, just in the center, straight down the middle, and then up. Dusting it into the T-zone. Not as much product there because you don't want to look like you're sweating. And uh, always for me, Cupid's bow. And chin. Very lovely. It's my favorite. It's absolutely stunning. Well, now all that remains is lips. I'm going to use my Anastasia liquid lipstick in Pure Hollywood. Um, I really like liquid lipsticks just because I find them super easy to use and um, they stay really well which is super important for me because I am lazy and do not like reapplying lipstick. And really easy to use. So, that's about it. Um, you guys can like, subscribe, and comment and let me know if you have any ideas for looks that I can do going forward or things you'd like to see um, or want to learn. Uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out and getting ready with me. I'll see you guys later.